In this video, we will talk about Gulen Barr syndrome, a triad of acute symmetrical ascending paralysis of limbs along with air reflexia and albuminocytological dissociation in CSF is suggestive of Gulen Barr syndrome. Gulen Barr syndrome is an acute inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. A few weeks after the infection, ascending muscle weakness develops. Trigger factors Factors responsible for GBS may include Compilobacter jejuni, Cytomegalovirus infection, Epstein-Barr virus, HIV, and Zoster infection. GBS may also develop after vaccinations. In about 40% of cases, no cause is found. Trigger factor leads to formation of antibodies which consequently attack nerves. This phenomena rapidly progresses and may affect all limbs and as a result paralysis develops. In GBS, there is a progressive phase of up to 4 weeks which is followed by recovery. Pain is common in back and lower limbs, but sensory signs may be absent. Autonomic involvement lead to sweating, increased pulse, arrhythmias, or blood pressure changes. Nerve conduction studies. Nerve conduction studies may show slow conduction or block. Cerebrospinal fluid findings Cerebrospinal fluid may show an increase in amount of proteins with normal white cell count. Respiratory involvement is very dangerous and may need ICU. It is recommended to monitor force vital capacity for early. If worsening, intubation may be needed. Treatment Intravenous immunoglobulins 400 mg per kilogram per day are given for 5 days. Plasma exchange is also acceptable and improves the condition. There is no role of steroids in GBS. In GBS, prognosis is good and is about 85%. Adverse prognostic factors in GBS. Preceding GI infection, age greater than 60 years, rapid and aggressive nature of disease at the start. Descending paralysis, autonomic nervous system involvement, evidence of widespread axonal damage, very high CSF protein. Variants of GBS, chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy, CIDP. It is characterized by slower onset and recovery. Miller-Fisher syndrome. It is associated with anti-GQ1B antibodies in serum. In this patient presents with ophthalmoplegia, ataxia, and areflexia. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल फॉर नेक्स्ट कमिंग वीडियोज